Hi there, wonderful awakening beings and spiritual souls. Joe Rose of JoeRose.com, numerologist and energy forecaster. In this video, I'm sharing with you expression number two. Now, some numerologists refer to this as the destiny number, but for my videos, I'm going to stick with calling it the expression number. If you don't know your expression number or how to calculate your expression number, I've already created a video, so do go and check in the description below or in the info bars above. The expression number tells us about the traits and the skills we've brought into this lifetime. Many people tell me that it's their life path number, that's who they are. That's not correct. My belief is the life path number is the lessons, the challenges, the opportunities that the soul is here to overcome and over time becomes a part of us. But from beginning to end, the expression number is one of the main parts of who we are and helps us work out how we do things, whether that be in our personal life or our career. So in this video, I'm talking about expression number two. This is a number where the skills are diplomacy, comfort, responsive, calm, harmonizing, mediation. These spring to mind along with a whole bunch of others that I'll run through as I work through this video. Now the chances are you feel better in the shadows, on the sideline, you are highly detailed and very observational, and this enables you to better influence from a supportive role. Not everybody needs to be a leader. However, the twos can be leaders in supportive roles. And it also depends what other numbers you have in your chart to where you fall in the career spectrum. You can shun the spotlight. You know, you're um, you're not an attention seeker, you're not out there, you're more here to harmonise or not cause great big waves of fluctuation. It may appear to others that you're disinterested and this can cause alienation with your peers or enthusiastic enthusiastic adults or other beings, those that are go-getters and think that you've got to keep going on and perse persevering and pursuing things, you don't have to. The, the, the two is a gentle um, energy. It still succeeds. It still has success. It just works different from the more outspoken, outright numbers. The two is able to see both sides. And this can cause you to be a little bit indecisive and sit on the fence. Often you like to be told what to do, not necessarily all the time at how to do it, but if you know what someone's goal is, chances are you could help make it happen. The two energy is great in mediation. So you could be a mediator, a counselor, or a diplomat. See, so there are high standard professions out there for the two energy. Um, the two energy on a flip could cause you to be submissive, put upon, a martyr, or a do-gooder, a fixer. Now, why is this? It's because you want harmony. You are looking for equilibrium. You are looking for balance. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if the world could just grab a hold of some of this, it would make so much more sense to you. The two is often found in an assistant role behind the throne. If we go back to the 40s, 50s, it was like the good woman at home when the the man folk went to work and all business deals were actually done back home around the uh, dining room table. The food the wife preserved or prepared rather, having washed and fed the children and put them to bed. So think of the old fashioned good woman. And I'm not saying that's the role that you want to take out, but it's generally that you're in the background, but without you, it couldn't work. You love music and movement. It helps you feel good. And this could be a career or a form of escapism. Chances are you're going to have some form of music playing on while you're doing your, your, um, your duties, whether it be at work or in the home. And possibly we could find you uh, having a little dance around the, uh, 
well I was going to say the kitchen but maybe when you're even vacuuming in the house you're probably having a little bit of a, a boogie going down um, your debt sorry you are less demanding than most you can take care of yourself but usually you create situations where you are needed now this is where codependency comes along and if you become codependent and needy you become lazy and we'll get the flip side of the two energy you can overgive to compensate there is something inside you seeking a relationship seeking respect seeking um, connection and being valued and because you're, the two can be such an easy going energy, there are people that can walk all over you and take it for granted. So it's time to learn when to speak up and not let this happen. You care, you care deeply. Um, and, and this is why it can challenge you because you, you're seeking for everyone and everything to be happy. Whether that be your partner, your children, your boss, your work colleagues, pets, wildlife, the environment. It could be in buildings outside or in the home. You're looking for balance. You're looking for harmony. And that's the key word really that the two is focused on is harmony and comfort. The twos make great secretaries, PAs, assistants. You often know what is required beforehand, before either your boss or the situation needs it. You have the desire to raise others up, support them, don't fix it. You will still end up getting the, um, the same result, if not better, because if you keep fixing it, you are denying the up-leveling of the other people, the ones that you keep fixing it for. We learn best from our own experiences. So be there loving and, and nurturing like you are. Don't fix it for, for those. Let them work it out themselves. You work well in partnerships. You don't, you're one of the, the numbers that doesn't really like to be alone. Not that you can't be alone and you certainly can support yourself more than others when you step back from supporting others and start supporting yourself. And that's the key here is the twos often don't look at their own needs. They're too busy fixing everybody else is too busy making everything else work out right but they are not focused on their own you can be a chameleon and i'm not saying this in that you know we can't trust you or anything but what you do is you tend to become the environment or the demand or the task or as in your um managers boss or whatever is that you tend to or they expect you to be like them and so you tend to step up into it but it doesn't feel right and I want to say you must learn to say no you must learn to find out or share with them what you're good at and what you're not make clear boundaries here so both of you know um, where you're going what your abilities are what your skills are left to doing your skills they will look a million times better if they let you do it the way that you know how to do it. As I said, you gotta to learn to say no. Not all tasks are yours. And this is what all numbers need to learn. So don't take on everybody else's crap. Let them deal with it themselves. The twos are great examples of helicopter parenting. You catch the child before they fall over. You're there before they've lost their gym kit. What happens when you're not around? You're not invincible. You will not live forever. So it's better to help others understand. There's a story that goes uh, about the hungry man and you could give him a fish and feed him for a night or feed his family for a night, but give him the fishing rod and he cannot just feed himself for the night or his family, he could possibly do the whole village. So see where you can help elevate others. Then you'll start to get your reward and recognition that you are so, so uh, deservedly entitled to. This is a number of um, great creative and artistic people. 
but when you get stuck in your art, when you're doing your art, I want you to feel it and do it because you love it, because you enjoy it, because it lights you up. You can be paid for it, of course you can, but don't do it for the money. You are not competitive. If you are a great artist, then get yourself some kind of art manager that can put your yourself out there. You just do what you love and let them sell your product so that then you've got your income coming in. You are a people person. You need harmony and anxious co-workers Aggressive bosses will deplete your energy. Over time, the more you give, and, and I've said that you will overgive, the two tends to overgive to be needed. But what you're doing is you're creating a lack of respect for you. And you often do things where you're valued but not told, where you, you've made it all work but you're not appreciated. And you can often go unrewarded. It's time to learn how to speak up. Use your diplomacy skills to share how you feel without blame or shame, but just this is how I feel and I could help better if. I'm, I don't know what the situation is, but this is the things that you could be doing here. You are sensitive, understanding, empathetic, sympathetic, patient. You are a born nurturer, highly intuitive, and cooperative. You know how to listen, you're efficient and caring. You want the best for everyone. Just don't forget that you are a part of the everyone. I once was looking for somebody to support myself, to support me, and I ended up falling in a mass on my kitchen floor. And throughout the process, which I've shared in other movies and probably will share again, but not here, is something came to me that I wanted the support, as in, the I'm such a great supporter, how can I have that support? And the little voice said in my head, when are you going to support yourself, Joe? And that's what I'm saying to you, is when are you going to use these skills on you? In my videos, you know I say it, it's your life, L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first every day, then love us. You know how to read a situation well. You're always looking to bring balance. Include yourself in that balance. Let's move on to some of the careers that this number has. The twos do well in careers of the diplomat, the politician, public or national affairs, teachers, trainers, healers, admin, office workers, secretaries, PA, artists, psychic mediums, the homemaker, whether it be domestic or professional. You're a great deputy, um, uh, assistant, and the deputy, when I say you're a great deputy, it depends on the role, and it depends on your other numbers. The expression number is our traits and skills, and in future videos, I will share with you your heart's desire, your soul urge number, because that's your motivator, that's what drives you. It's another important key player in your numerology code. More specific on the careers. So you could be in politics, the government, civil service, social worker, librarian, anthropologist, HR, human resources, onto the teachers, so you, any form of teacher, coach, um, instructor, trainer, special education, professor. More into the healing, you could be a counsellor, a therapist, various therapies, alternative and traditional, psychologist, nurse, dental assistant, hospital, orderly, reflexology. Within the uh, business environment, most admin jobs you're well capable and efficient in doing. Data inputting, accounts, bookkeeping, secretary, PA, filing clerk, postal worker, receptionist, cashier, whether it be a cashier in a shop, cashier in a bank. Um, yeah, artist, you could be any form of artist. You could be in the music industry, that could be a dancer, composer, musician, singer. Poetry, written word, author, articles, columnist, um, anything creative, but work from where your soul is delivering this. 
You could be great at astrology, um, astronomy, numerology, tarot, clairvoyance, psychic abilities, mediumship, and very much into the homemaker area. So that's anything in the home as a loving partner, wife, spouse, a parent, a companion, a building custodian, caretaker, uh, a nanny, waitress, waiter, event planner, housekeeper, florist, landscaper. The list of careers are endless. And so there's plenty out there for you to do. As long as you are not taking it all on board to do it yourself, you must learn to balance giving and receiving. Say no when you normally say yes, say yes when you normally say no. And you could have some of the most wonderful careers. As I say, you could be a manager and a leader, but in a supportive role. So what's stopping you? What's holding you back? If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about your own personal numerology, do get in touch. I do readings, consultations, and I run an amazing 12-month mentorship program that I'd love to share with you, where we piece you back together and allow you to move on and live the life you were born to live. Um, so please share this video. Do press the subscribe button and the bell for further notifications. If this wasn't your um, expression number, maybe it was your partners or your children's, check them all out, understand where they tick and how as such a people person, you can help raise them up by guiding them in a better direction. This is a part of my expression series videos. I also have life path series and personal years. Marry them up with your own number here, your expression number and your life path and your personal year. And you can align yourself to move along the path with the energy that's coming and seem to be in the right place at the right time. I hope I've shared enough to encourage you that you have got the best skills that you could possibly desire and the ability to use them and make your life abundant, well-connected and in harmony. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.